Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. If you're like me and you found the initial um, difficulty curve fairly dangerous, a bit intimidating, you might find this video useful. It is a guide on bounty hunting, something that I avoided for quite a while um, and when I did dabble in it early on I got my ass handed to me very quickly. So. Um, I kind of took my time to do a bit of bounty hunting, but I've got used to it a little bit now So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a guide on it now. I'm using a vulture. It cost me um, About four and a half million credits, and it is probably Arguably one of the best ships in the game to do bounty hunting But if you've got something like a Viper Mark III or a Cobra Mark III Then those are perfectly capable of being very decent bounty hunting ships, so don't worry that I've got a better ship than you because you can still do it. And my first piece of advice for a beginner in bounty hunting is to go for the nav beacons first just to get a bit of combat experience because um, the majority, not all the time, but the majority of the uh, wanted criminals that you will find around a nav beacon tend to be around the um, competent level or worse than that they're not particularly skilled pilots um, so it's a good place to start and get used to your um, combat style and how your ship moves fires um, now unfortunately this nav beacon that I tried to come to here had very little activity you see the arrow there on the right hand side at the bottom that's just for when you um, I'm thinking of going into combat you need to fire up your weapons so it's pressing twice on the d-pad and on the right hand side um, and that will power up your weapons and that will help when you are shooting at ships you won't run out of power as fast or burn up as fast so I didn't have any luck at the first nav beacon um, sometimes it works out like that but quite a lot you will find quite a bit of activity at nav beacon and I found it the perfect place to start now what you need to do um, at a nav beacon as well to get the full outline of the system, what's, on, what's in the system is to scan the nav beacon and it will show you what's in the system. Now in this system you can see there there's a lot of combat zones. So I decide to go to a combat zone to show you a bit of combat. Now if you're new to bounty hunting I wouldn't necessarily suggest doing this unless you're going to go to a low combat zone, one with uh, low intensity. But you'll see what I do in this combat zone is something a little bit different. I don't just, don't just go diving into the combat zone because I made that mistake early on and again I got blown up a couple of times. So what I've done there, you can see in the bottom right hand side where the arrow is. I've scanned that ship as I'm coming into the combat zone, still in super cruise, and that's a wanted ship. So I'm going to try and interject that ship and pull it out of its super cruise. If you see... We'll see shortly. If you're going to be a bounty hunter, and we'll talk a little bit later about what you need on your ship, hard point wise and um, optional extras. Um, but you do need an interjector. And this allows you to do what I'm going to do very shortly with this ship. It allows you to pull a ship out of Super Cruise. And you can see there that the ship that I've scanned is his wing. And they're both wanted. So. If I pull one out of the Super Cruise, I'll pull both of them out of Super Cruise. Now the problem I've got here is that he's faster than me. Um, and I can't keep up with him. But as he slows down to get, and he gets closer to the combat zone, that will give me the opportunity to pull him out of the Super Cruise, as you will see. See there? It's dropping. I'm getting closer, if you look at the arrow there. It's actually quite easy to do, to interject fighters and pull them out of the uh, super cruise. You see there where the arrow is? I was going a bit too fast there, I went past him. But there, when that lights up, it will tell you when you can interject. There you go, where the arrow is there, the interjector. It's, it's red at the minute because I'm too far away. As soon as I'm close enough and critically so you need to be behind the ship to interject it which we shall see shortly
So I'm getting closer and closer. Shouldn't be long now. See, it's telling me to get behind the target. So I went a little bit fast again. But you can see it's no longer red now. I'm close enough to interject him, which I do right there. So there you can see you've got a blue bar on the left and a red bar on the right. The blue bar is you, the red bar is them. You've got to keep the ship as into the in the middle of your sights as much as possible. And if you do that, you'll win. It's like a mini game, really, this. You'll win like the mini game. And you will pull the other ship out of its super cruise. Take a note of my weapons on the right, the bottom right. They're still set on weapon heavy. There you go, you see. Now, when it says hull integrity compromised, that's only because you've like come out of, high, of super cruise really fast. It doesn't mean really that you're in any real bother. Right, we already know he's a baddie, so I don't need to really scan him again, so you just go for it. You'll see as well I've got a warrant scanner. Kill warrant scanner. Even though I don't do it on these, if you scan them, with the kill warrant scanner it will show up any bounties they've got elsewhere in the galaxy and you will be able to claim them bounties too so it's a good idea as a bounty hunter to get a kill warrant scanner as well these actually if you can see is rated as a competent space pilot so I'm actually making my harder work of this than I need to really because competent isn't usually particularly good but I get him there, look. And you can see there on the top right, I got 24,000 credits. That's it. So, yep, so to change targets, as I've just shown on the screen there, you keep your finger on the X and the D pad to the left to switch through the targets. So, this is his wing. He's also wanted, as you can see. You don't get as much money for him. So that's how you pull someone out of Super Cruise using the interjector, which is a good way when you're going into a conflict zone. I would not recommend um, flying head on into a conflict zone because you really won't do well there. So to summarise, a good way to do it is to go to a nav beacon first, good for beginners. Or go to conflict zones and pull ships out of Super Cruise using the interjector. Those, that's two ways to bounty hunt for a start and then what you do you go back to the station enter into the station Something reassuring about that. Go to Starport Services. Go to Contacts, and you can see right there, those are the bounties that I've just earned for them two ships I blew up. You claim them, that's yours. Okay? Now, if you want to save up your bounties, you can, but you can't claim them everywhere. You have to wait till you get to a station that has an interstellar fact contact faction contact so that means you can claim any bounties you've claimed anyway if you stockpile them if you like because sometimes you'll leave a system and forget to pick up the bounties and rather than go back you can just wait always remember to refuel repair and restock and also a lot of people might forget you go to advanced maintenance repair your hull and even your paint won't paint work if you're a bit of a perfectionist like me okay so here we're going to go have a look at some of the outfitting so for hard points I recommend really hard points are your weapons I recommend depending on the ship you've got a mixture of multi cannons and pulse lasers beam lasers if you can afford the power I can't in this ship because it's notorious for being fairly low powered. Otherwise I would have chosen a beam laser instead of a pulse laser. But they are two large weapons I've got so it doesn't really matter. 
utility mounts, shield boosters for as much as you can afford it in regards to the power, and then your kill warrant scanner, and I go for point defense. This is a good setup for a bounty hunter, by the way, not just for any general ship. And I found these, I think, um, very rarely, I, I think I've lost, been blown up a couple of times, but not for a while now. So your core internal, you really want to be focusing on your power plant, getting the best one possible. Your power distributor, the best one you can. Your sensors are a good idea for a bounty hunter so that you can your sensors can uh, reach out further. And thrusters, I don't think that's overly essential. Um, but if you think you might need to outrun people, then you're going to have to work on getting some good thrusters too if you power. And your life support, because quite a lot you'll get your cockpit shattered and the glass shattered. So you've got to have good life support to survive longer. Now your optionals, what I tend to... You've got to have a good shield generator, obviously. Hull reinforcement package. That's the interjector. That's what pulls them out of super cruise. You're going to need one of them. Okay, so those are a good idea for your optionals. Okay. So those are a basic description of some of the equipment that you might need on your ship. Now obviously that's a vulture, but your ship, kit it out as, much, as close to that as you can in regards to um, what we've just talked about. Now, another way to bounty hunt is if you get to a system map and you see planets with rings around it, like that, or like that, you're going to find some nice juicy resource extraction sites and those are the best place to bounty hunts. So we're going to have a go at going to a resource extraction site now, right there. And we'll see what the difference is here. So there we are. When you, when you go to a nav beacon or you get close to a planet with those rings around it, it will show up on your navigation all the resource extraction sites. And any planet with a ring around it will have resource extraction sites. As a beginner, I recommend going to the ones with low, in, low first until you get used to combat, until you get used to being um, able to defend yourself and things like that. If you go straight into a high intensity one, you're probably going to get blown up pretty quickly. So start at low and work your way up. So here we are. When you head into a resource extraction site, come at it from below. You can come at it from above as well, but I always find it easier coming at it from below. Don't come at it head on because you'll go crashing into them rings and you'll just go bouncing off. It ain't, it's not good at all. It took me ages to figure it out. So there you go, you're coming nice and steady till it tells you to disengage the super cruise. So here we are, a resource extraction site, and that's pretty much what a lot of them look like. Yeah, it's where people go to mine, basically, mine for minerals, all that kind of stuff. You see all the dots on the map showing up? Well, because this is a low one, there isn't that many. So initially, we don't have an awful lot of luck when we start scanning the ships. So they have to be in your view to be scanned. And he's just done one. So I never finished the scan with him. Another one there. And he's wanted. So we've got a result there. You deploy your hard points with the square button. You see that? Kill warrant scanner. I've pressed it. Kept my finger on it. You have to keep your finger on it to do the kill warrant scanner. And that's completed now. So you can go for it. Close shave with that asteroid. 
There you go, go for it. You'll see how fast his shields will go down, because I like to say I've got quite a powerful ship, quite powerful weapons. And this guy's rated as competent. Now, when you get them competent or below, you don't get an awful lot of money for the bounty, as you'll see. You saw earlier with the ones that I blew up. Wasn't great money. Now, you usually get much better money, and we will see later on when um, you blow up somebody who is, like, rated as dangerous or deadly or elite or a master. There you go. We've got 14,000 credits for that. So, initially, what you're thinking probably is, well, you're not getting really much money for these, and you're not, but what we're showing you here is how to get some good practice in on how to be a good combat pilot. You're not going to get great money initially, you need to build up your skills because it, it's, it's actually quite a steep learning curve again is um, combat as everything is in this game. Now I decide now to go to a, a high rated resource extraction site and normally if you go to a high one you normally see some more competent ships and pilots so therefore the bounties are going to be a little bit higher so I'm just really doing this to show you I would not recommend you go to one of these as a rookie pilot in regards to combat learn your trade on the nav beacons and the low conflict zones and the low resource extraction sites then when you feel a bit more skilled Go to the higher rated ones. There's usually a lot more ships in these. And they're far more competent at flying. You get more elite, deadly, dangerous, master rated pilots here. What's good as well about um, a lot of the sites that you go to, you get a lot of help from like the federal pilots and stuff. Now, as long as you're in the fight when it's taking taking place, if you get like one of the last shots in, you'll you claim the bounty on it, and you'll see that a couple of times here. If you're smart, you can kind of sneak in at the last minute and get the bounty, even though you've not done a lot. See, we don't, I'm not getting a great deal of luck early on scanning for wanted pilots. There we are, we've got one. So there we are, you can see the kill rate scanner's going. But I'm also firing at the same time. Just keep your finger on the kill, um, the kill warrant scanner until it says complete. There you go. And you can see this guy is rated as dangerous, I think. So he's a far more skilled pilot than a competent. But you can see some of the others are moving into attack as well. There you go. Got another wanted one. And he is rated as a master in regards to skill. So he ramps up even further in regards to difficulty. But I've, I've scanned him with a kill scanner, kill warrant scanner. That's it, going for it. And then, like I say, if you've got your weapons deployed on the right hand side at the bottom, you can fire for much longer. You can see he's hitting me as well, but I've got really powerful shields. I'm far more powerful than his. This is what a lot of these skilled pilots do. They come in close. They sneak or try and sneak around you. But I kind of won't have it and I push him away.
tries it again. There you go. See the difference? 111,000 credits. Me just checking my message. I've been promoted to a novice combat pilot. So that shows you I've not been at this that long, really, to bounty hunt, and it's fairly easy to pick up once you get used to it. But it is quite intimidating career to start with. But I've made about five million in like three nights, even just less doing this. So we've got another one wanted. He's ranked, ran, sorry, ranked as an elite pilot. So. He didn't last long, we got 161,000 for him, and that's because, you see all them ships flying around him? They're all Federal fighters, and I got the last shot in, so I got the bounty. So there, you see, 270 credits in what, three minutes? thing about bounty hunting as well is to know when to get out of there okay if your shields have gone and the shields on the other ship haven't it's time to make haste and run probably I would suggest unless you've got a lot of federal ships or, um, helping you out the like system security ships whatever you want to call them so we've got another one there, rated as deadly, who's wanted. On the bottom left you can see there. So. He's coming into range. Now I know he's quite a difficult fighter, but I'm waiting. You see me waiting for the Federal ships to start the attack first. Because if I start the attack, he's going to target me. So I'm waiting and doing the kill warrant scanner first, waiting for the system security to attack him first, which they're starting to do now. And then we go. Right, now I make a go for it. And his shields have gone pretty much straight away with us all going at him very quickly. So it is about biding your time sometimes, especially if it's a very, very good ship and skilled pilot. We got hundred and forty thousand. So there you go. I've just made five minutes or so over five hundred thousand credits. Not bad going really that. So you can make a couple of million credits really with just a couple of hours playtime. Fairly easily. So it is a really, really good way of making money bounty hunting, but it is quite a difficult learning curve to start with. So I hope you do find this guide helpful. Um, don't forget to refuel, repair every time you land at a station, because it could give you that edge in a battle. If you like this video and you found it useful, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much 